Hey everyone, so I've decided to go to, um, <laughs> I did this last time, it's like, I cannot remember what it's called, not Salcombe, Saunton, that's it, um, a place near Barnstable, um, and rather than going for a camping trip, I've decided to go a bit more glampy, um, and by glampy I don't know if you can call it a Ford Mondeo glampy at all, but um, for me it totally is, and what I've done <laughs> is basically I have turned my um, car into a little bit of a camp and do you know what I love camping and I love going out um, wild camping off on Dartmoor and stuff but this time of year you know there's 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 a time and a place and right now I just want to get uh, a nice weekend away a bit of time to myself to relax uh, it's been a busy year obviously with lockdown and everything and working through um, and uh, I've actually found that this is really really nice so I've driven, what, an hour and a half away from home to come here, and I couldn't find a car parking spot. Now, I'd planned it, and I had thought that I would go to, um, I don't know, Crow's Nest car park or something like that. Drove up, what happens? The gate's closed. It's one of those stupid attendance ones with a little hut at the beginning, at the, excuse me, entrance. And, um... So I was like, oh, damn. So I drove on, Googled the next one. The next one, no overnight parking. Okay, drove to the next one. No overnight parking. It's like, this is a seaside place. This is like some of the most beautiful seaside here in the area. And um, yeah, not allowed to park overnight. Um, so much so they've got the automatic cameras. So, you know, normally I'm a bit of a rebel. I, I would probably just be like, well, I don't want to stay there. I'm going to go and do what I want. And I'm going to go in car park. But no, they've got cameras. So definitely not. And to be honest, I don't really want to get a fine, can't afford that. So um, I've taken the car and I've just dri driven along and there were these like bays, these like laybys by the sea. And um, there's loads of people in, in there with their vans, like camping and stuff. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna do it. So um, here is what it looks like. Okay. So basically it's like, I've put up these curtains and um, I bought like a big piece of um, fabric and I've stuck them up with Velcro, if you can see that. There we go. And um, that's just for like a little bit of privacy, because um, I need some privacy. But basically, the boot, I've cleaned it all, it's all nice, and I have camped in this before, I've done it already. Uh, I've got pillows and a sheet. Um, the boot goes back there. Now all of this is long enough for me to sleep on, and it is so cosy. This is carpeted, I put down um, this stuff, which is um, like, space foil stuff but it's slightly padded and then I put a sheet over that and then I've got my pillows as well. Um, got a book that I'm going to read whilst I'm here, Just toiletries, entertainment <laughs> and uh, like down here where the seats go up I put all the stuff for my store so I've got my clothes like normal clothes and then I've got some walking clothes below, a couple of towels, my walking bag because I do want to do a hike uh, whilst I'm here and then in the front a bit of storage, space for the coat water and uh yeah it's actually it's really warm obviously the engines have not long been turned off and I, I pumped up the heat really really um powerfully Ugh. powerfully is not a word is it oh there we go oh and the lights have all turned off well for the you're gonna have to hope that, that this works and now uh, it's like super bright but there we go. I don't know if you can still see me, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, so I'm going to be here for a couple of nights and um, tomorrow I'm going to chill. I'm not going to do much. I might go for a walk down to the beach, have a look around the towns. Um, but this is like another side of the getting away and, and camping that I like. It's not wild camping. It's certainly not in a tent, but I can hear the sea. And I can hear the breeze and I can hear the drizzle and like... I'm just in the mood to relax and this car does not let in a single breath of air from the outside and it's still really hot and the engine's been off for what half an hour now and um it's so so nice if if you can you know this is just another way to like enjoy the outdoors and enjoy doing something different and getting out and doing something I'll do like a full um uh, like rev not review but just like gear list i don't know what you call it just uh, um like all the stuff that i brought along with me and um how i'm going to use it and um yeah i'll sort of document the the weekend with the hike as well so yeah morning everyone so uh had a really nice um evening and a good night um it was really comfortable 
Um, I, it was really comfortable. It was as comfortable as um, lying on a um, hard carpeted floor with um, a mat and a sheet. So I woke up at one point, my leg was like dead. And I was like, ah, what's going on? And then I realized I was in the car. <laughs> so I just like completely forgot what was going on. But um, no, I feel good. Um, it's a pretty dismal morning, but um, here is what I am waking up to today. Oh, ah, here we go, here we go. This is my view. Waking up this morning. It is so nice to see. Let's see. Man, I haven't had to pay anything to be here. Whether I'm allowed to, I don't know. It didn't say no overnight parking or anything, but there it is. So I'm glad today I'm just going to be like pottering around. Over there, you see that? It scared the life out of me. It looked like um, like a tidal wave or something. I don't quite know what's going on. It's actually really, really. Come on, there you go. Okay. Really, really scary um, when I was really sleepy. There's like this partition in the sea, and over there it looks like there's just this massive, great big wave. But turns out it's actually not the sea, it's the distance, as in the hills in the horizon. So that's why. That's why the water looks like. <laughs> it was going up because <laughs> you know technically water doesn't really do that it doesn't you don't have flat and then it goes up a little bit it's like normally flat so yes uh but yeah so uh that that's uh that's it it was a really good night and um i'm gonna get changed and crack on <laughs> where everyone so i have been um just up on a cliff uh just playing a game and it went from cloudy to this in like no seconds at all so um yeah it's turned into a, a wonderful little summer holiday because <laughs> don't we just love summer weather it's like liquid rain liquid rain, <laughs> liquid, rain. liquid sunshine <laughs> Absolutely cannot resist. Look at it. It's like so invigorating. Wow. Whew. Definitely feel alive after that. Hey <laughs> so I am so bored of being stuck in the car. I don't care what the weather's doing. I'm actually walking down to the beach. Look at this. Wow, black screen. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. I zoom out even more. New. It's absolutely stunning. So I've literally just parked up there. I'm coming down. Look at it. It's absolutely flipping gorgeous. I think, I can't remember what this is called. Saunton? Bullocoon? Something like that. I'll let y'all know in the comments. <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> All right, so I've made it down to the bottom and it is absolutely stunning down here. Um, it's not exactly warm, <laughs> it's quite breezy, but oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Look, don't need words. It's just stunning. There we go. So, it's not all just about walking. It's about getting out to nice places. Find it, all I've done is drive. I didn't even know I was coming here today. I just drove the car to a certain point and um, didn't know what, I just, like I said, I didn't even know what this place is called. I'll have to let you know later. But it's just the absolute thrill of not knowing, of, of um, 
just not knowing where you're going to be tomorrow and knowing that you can just camp over doesn't matter where you are just as long as it's not private property <laughs> you can just do anything and i love that freedom that sense of i don't know just yeah freedom not being trapped or tied down to anything really recommend you do it yeah. <sighs> I am so invigorated right now. I'm almost getting high on just like everything. It's like absolutely incredible. It's just started raining again and uh, it's cool. Um, I've gotten past the cold factor. I was like shivering earlier and shaking. My teeth were like, blah, blah, blah. but now it's all good. And I just wanted to say one thing to the sea and that is, yes, look at it out here. It's absolutely amazing. Ah. I think it's just so easy to get stuck with the mundane and the monotony of life that sometimes you just need to get out and do something different. Like I've got hobbies, I've got friends, I've got work colleagues. It's all lovely, it really is. Um, but this is just completely different, completely out of the blue, completely um, unplanned. And look at it, it's, it's rain. I mean, it, it's just so simple and it's cold and it's so different. So just get out and do something different you know it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be oh let's watch tv or let's do this let's do that if, if there's anything you haven't tried that you want to go and do it you know if you can if you've got the ability to because it just helps to refresh the soul and refresh the mind when you're doing something like this so completely out of the blue and almost almost insane but i feel so alive from doing this getting outside Goodness me. Well, I'm back at the car. It was a, a really quick walk up from the beach and it's absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm so glad I did that. I've got the heater on, I've got the heated seat on. It just, oh my goodness, I'm gonna dry off now. Like, you couldn't do this in a tent. So there are definitely advantages to going glamping or clamp, clamping, car camping, car CC camping, something like that, but definitely hey do it. So it would not be a visit to a seaside place, would it? Or a coastal walk if I don't have chips and, well, fish and chips. I'm not really too keen on fish, as in it's not my favorite dish. So I'm gonna have a jumbo sausage and chips and curry sauce, my classic favorite, but I can't find anywhere. So I've just come to this place, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's a theme going on here. Um, to see if I can find some chips. <laughs> Hey everyone, I don't know if um, you can hear it, but listen to the rain. Just woke me up. It's so, so rainy out there. I mean, it's not even as bad as it was. At one point I was like, flip, the car's gonna blow away. Um, I'm parked up on the cliff again and the rain was just battering the side of the car. It's absolutely awesome. Like, I'm in here. I'm all cozy, snug as a bug in a rug, and um, warm, and like, it's cold out in the car, but I'm in the sleeping bag, it's fine, it's so nice. But like, to hear that rain, to hear the wind, to know that I'm in here dry, and cozy, and toasty, and if I was in a tent right now, I would be absolutely dying. <laughs> it would be fun, but it's not the purpose of this trip. <laughs> hey everyone, so I've decided I'm gonna go for a walk. It's now Sunday. Um, I had a nice chilled morning. I went to um, the Weatherspoons to have a breakfast wrap and just kind of chilled there for a couple of hours just to really relax and switch off a little bit. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm gonna definitely go for a walk. The weather's been a bit, it was lovely this morning, but then it sort of tipped it down as soon as I finished breakfast, which is good timing, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the second I want to do it. But in Barnstable, there's like the Tarka Trail. And the Tarka Trail is like this massive, I think it's about 187 miles. So that would be another, oh God, one of the many things that I want to do. Um, but it goes um, from like Barnstable all the way down to Ocampton in a loop. And then it goes all the way up to Lin Linmouth in a loop as well some of it along the coast path, some of it along um, the old railway. So I've taken the route from Barnstable Railway Station. I've parked in Tesco. I've got three hours in Tesco. So I thought, well, that's actually okay. Cause it's, it's what, what is it now? Half past 20 to one, uh, 20 to two. So 20 to two. And 
that gives me a few hours, it gives me till five o'clock, which is enough time. I'm gonna go at a really good pace, four miles per hour if I can, and try and do, um, what's that, one and a half, four, six, maybe try and do about 12 miles, we'll see. But anyway, here we are. And that goes all the way to Braunton, Ilfracombe, Biddeford, along the old railway. So apparently, off the Targa Trail, about 30 odd, 37 odd miles of it is actual old railway, so it's kind of like a nice path. Um, the rest of it is kind of like fields and coast path and stuff like that, so uh, just love the peace and quiet of, of where I am in Barnstable. Can't wait to get on some open road, I can tell you that much, but yeah, gonna be good. Seriously guys, look at this. This is literally next to the old railway, which is the cycle path where I'm walking, but we're literally gonna be following this for ages. Absolutely stunning. What a wonderful place to be walking on a day like this. Okay, yeah, it's not it's not perfect. It will probably rain. That's what waterproofs are for. And uh, you don't need anything expensive. Um, not for going along, you know, for eight miles or even a day. Uh, I've literally just got this, which is quite light. It's too warm. Um, and then I've got my waterproof. Can't do it. Waterproof trousers on. So yeah, it doesn't take much, but absolutely stunning. Hey everyone, I don't know. Anyone that saw my uh, video the other day on uh, you know, just a little motivational thing about running, about getting out and um, just doing these sorts of things. Well, oh, I can't see. The um, the weather today isn't great, it's cold, it has been raining, but um, just a case in point, I'm too hot. I've gotten so warm from going at a good pace, um, which that good pace is, you know, four miles an hour for me, but for someone else it might be less. The fact is you get warm and as long as you keep warming, <laughs> warming <laughs> as long as you keep walking you uh you, you stay warm and uh it doesn't matter what the weather is you can go out just bring the clothes with you just make sure you've always got something appropriate for the weather so in this case i've just put my coat in, my, in the pack and if it rains then i've got it there haven't i and if it's uh if i do get cold or i stop i've got it there so you know you can do everything if you've got a backpack so i really 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 recommend it because and I'm just going to do this again because this is what it's all about. Guys, look at this. Look at it. Zoom in. It's stunning. Got the flash on. Like a beacon. Going to get the helicopters landing for me. People out fishing. Just this lovely, beautiful... I wondered if those um, windmills were the ones from the two more way. But I looked and I don't think... I don't think they are because the Two Moors Way path I think is over there somewhere whereas that is more sort of like northwesterly. I don't know I don't think it is it doesn't really go too close but I could be wrong I've gotten lost many a time <laughs> but yeah look at it zoom out it's stunning so I really really recommend it it doesn't uh, you don't have to you don't have to spend much money. I mean, look at me, I camped in my car. I reckon, what is it, weekend? I reckon 90 pounds a night minimum for a Friday and Saturday, including breakfast um, at a B&B. &B. And that's not even a hotel, okay, B&B. &B. Um, if you want a sea view like I had, you're probably gonna pay in the region of 150 pounds per night bed and breakfast, even if you're on your own, because that's just the way of it. Um, so taking the car, I had a sea view to wake up to. I was looking across the bay, Saunton Sands, whatever it's called. And um, I, I didn't have to pay for it. Like obviously I've had to drive here. So a bit of diesel, what was it? It was probably about 150 mile round trip, plus the uh, bits of driving here and there. Yeah, call it, tw call it 200 miles. So what's that, 20 quid diesel, um, food. Um, I could have spent a lot less on food to be honest with you, um, but I just fancied chips and um, You know to have a bit of fun the money. I'm saving not doing it might as well and uh, Yeah parking free Tesco for three. I'm sure if I tried I could have found somewhere else to park for free uh, Maybe on a street somewhere, but I just uh, You know by the time I finish this walk, it's gonna be sort of sundown anyway, so what's the point? But yeah, you, don't, you know the gear again. It's not expensive um, and to you know get a walk like this, you know you could you could argue that it's very difficult to get abroad right now because it is, and uh, so you don't have to spend a lot of money to do something nice in this country. 
um, and see some beautiful countryside because oh my goodness you know we go away to other countries don't we to see some lovely sights and yeah there's some stunning sights but goodness me we've got some beautiful parts of our country old line man's hut i used to find them on the old uh, railways every uh, mile or every couple of miles or so used to contain all the sort of supplies uh, then somebody could literally just stay in and uh, check all the track back in the days before like the internet and modern like connections knowing you know computers knowing which line is damaged or something like that which signal and uh yeah shame shame about that because although everything's amazing now just uh simple simpler time eh i'm not gonna get all philosophical philosophical <laughs> might as well just make up a new word whilst we're at it we'll call it philomolical philomolical I'm not going to get philomolical on you, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just uh, I, it's things like that I just love seeing on the old ray, you know. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a history buff, but I do love seeing, you know, uh, what is it? Almost like remnants of a time that's long gone by. Anyway, enough of that. And uh, it's got a little cafe, it's got toilets, and it's only a few miles out. So, absolutely fantastic little stop for you. Um, if you just want to do, you know, like five miles or something like that, you can be absolutely drenched with a flooded thing. Yeah. But yeah, look. There you go. Cool little place. Hey everyone, so I've just um, been walking along, I'm just hit three miles, and uh, I've realised that I've walked um, to, well I'm not quite there yet, but you can actually see where I was camping last night on the cliff edge. See that over there? Uh, literally just up there on the cliff, there's a road and it goes around. So yeah, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty cool, and that's why I could see such a good view. <laughs> ah, je veux vraiment du miel. Mmm. Natural, lovely, wild honey. Oh my goodness, do I want some of that. Look at that contrast in the sky. You got the sun, you got the dark. All I, I really want it to rain. It's like I'm four and a half miles in, and I'd love to walk back in the rain, get back absolutely drenched, and then get in the car warmer and have a nice coffee. Mm, be amazing. Do you know what? I used to love playing with Lego when I was a kid and uh, it just goes to show I'm shrinking. I'm becoming really, really, really short and tiny because look at the size of those Lego bricks. <laughs> so I've just hit five miles and I'm going to head back now, but I got super bored. So I'm going to jog back and challenge myself to do the five miles in 50 minutes. Um, so it's going to be fun and games, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I just got bored, so I'm wearing trousers and waterproof. So hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> right, six and a half miles. I'm jogging, just making sure I remind people it's really important to stay on the path and follow the path correctly. Oh, there'll be no place to park your boat. That boot is not gonna go nowhere, is it? Hey everyone, I just have to quickly stop because the whole point of doing these things is for a bit of nature as well, but look. It's a heron. Just randomly. There. Isn't it beautiful? Head literally just popped up and I was like, oh wow. Don't normally get to see them too close. What a beautiful animal, huh? Hey everyone, so that's it, I've done it. The GPS is clocking me at just uh, nine and a half miles. I'm not quite sure how that works considering it was five miles when I turned back. So it must be because I had it on walking mode and then I ran the way back, I don't know. It's GPS though, right? Um, but oh my goodness, it was amazing. I ran non-stop and I feel so good for it. I'm glad I did that. Um, that route though, the uh, Tarka Trail, so from Barnstable, absolutely perfect i saw so many families um families cyclists that sort of thing so it's like a really good route um it's all tarmac as well so it's really easy and uh just makes it really pleasant to uh drive on not drive uh walk on I'm just going through the car park now where i parked but uh it's absolutely flipping fantastic and how's that for parking <laughs> but um yeah, definitely recommend that. 
9.5 miles, there we go. I'm not quite sure how that works. <clears throat> Two hours and six minutes. Average speed, four and a half miles per hour. I don't know. Anyway, made it back. Uh, and that was just absolutely flipping insane. Absolutely loved that. I'm so glad I ran it because it would have just been so boring coming back, um, just walking. And it rained, it was so good, but um, absolutely stunning. Saw the heron, stopped a few times, take some photos, and um, didn't, need, didn't need anything. I've got my water here, so that's it. So there you go, that is the uh, end to my little weekend. I'm gonna head back home now. Um, I'm in Barnstable, Tesco. Um, I highly recommend it. If, you, if you're in the area, North Devon, you can get to Barnstable. Uh, you've got a family or you, know, you just want a really good bike ride or something. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't recommend it enough. Um, for a nice, pleasant, you can do whatever you want. You can sprint it, you can run it, you could, um, you, you can walk it, you could, there were people there on their scooters. It is suitable for absolutely everyone. So that's it. I hope you, uh, hope you all enjoy it and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> you know what? It's really funny. I um, all day have been a little bit sort of out of sync. I didn't even realise that um, the clocks went back last night. I've been so sort of switched off in my own little word to, world today that um, I, I didn't even, I didn't even twig and um, so you remember I said um, that I was gonna run back. I really wanted to make it in 50 minutes. I was concerned that I was gonna get back to Tesco and the car park would be closed because it's Sunday trading, so it's closed at four. So I was like, oh my goodness, because my phone, my watch, right? So my watch and early at my car, I don't automatically go back the hour. My watch does only if it's connected to my phone via Bluetooth and I haven't installed the Casio app on the phone. So all that meant was that all day I've been looking at my watch thinking, ah, uh, yeah, it's time to head back or oh, it's a little bit later. Then I looked at my phone and realized it was like two o'clock. Oh my days. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Um, just, um, I was just chatting away and uh, this, I just heard this bang and, and this, um, there's been a crash. Oh, it's just like a little, um, fender bender somebody's come around the corner somebody's pulled out and they've just smacked into each other um i stopped because i thought i might have caught it on my video but um it's just off cam which is um shame anyway um i can't remember what i was saying <laughs> oh yeah and um yeah so the clocks went back and um they i, I hadn't even realized it and i was just oh it's just so typical so i've been rushing around thinking it's later than it is and it's only four Wait. <laughs> I'm doing it again. What is the time? Um, no, it must be three. It must be three eleven. Yeah, that's right. My car's an hour ahead. <laughs> I can't work it out. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> it's just um, that's just typical of me. I just literally just didn't even realise.